Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. I mean, I know, but I know there's been other news out there, and I'm at, I'll, I guess I'll let P take over with doing like the poll and then talking about talk about the origin of the pilot. Let pilot. pilot do it. Pilot's the one. Oh, pilot. Okay, pilot. Yeah. You do that. This nigga. Hold on. Hold on. What do you mean, nigga? It was your idea. <laughs> so we did ask due to some rumors, the rumor mill. You know, boxing and the rumor mill is always a. Uh, coincide with one another go hand to hand you know go back like baby uh you know car seats and, and spinal cords but <laughs> we did ask you know obviously there's a rumors of Shakur and Tank which is a fight that's not going to happen this year um but their prospective opponents have brewed some controversy so we did ask between these two fighters which opponent is a better you know opponent for this for you know Shakur and Tank Davis obviously um, it was between Jose El Rayo Van Valenzuela and Joe Cordina. We got 39 votes, six days left, with an uh, overwhelming 87% for El Rayo, the 140 WBA champion, and 13% for the last the guy that just got stopped by a non country at 130 pounds, Joe Cordina. <laughs> I think it was an obvious one, but you know, fanboys are going to fanboy and make, you know, their talking points, so. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, you were talking about in, on your on your server that people were going crazy, that people were knowing you over that shit. Yeah, everybody has their, you know, because Sh Shakur Tank, you know, the, you know, when the lines divided, you know, they're gonna prop their opponents up. So I just thought maybe, obviously, I think you know, Dan well, Cordini is the worst name, bro. Cord what you say? Cordini is the worst name. Cordina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I don't like either fight. It's that's just me. Like, oh, we I, know, Mister. I hate PBC. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, can't, I, I told you before, like, I, if I see a pattern that I don't like and it keeps repeating, it annoys the fuck out of me. So yeah, PBC you know, at me yeah. chastising damn PBC. Yeah, I can't, that's I can't, that's do, just I can't do, for. You know, no one forty, like you know, Rayo should not be fighting Tank, you know, for this. It's like, come on, like, you know. Who you want Rayo to fight then, bro? Who, it, it who you want Rayo to fight? It, it, it devalues number one. It's like number one. It's like like Tank doesn't have any other fights, that, you know. Which is the, which no, I'm is saying not Tank. Who should Rayo fight? To me, honestly, Tank and Shakur Stevenson should fight. Oh well, like, yeah, no, there's no question. Like I, that's I the think, fight. Like, like the boxing gods open up the skies for Tank because Loma, Loma Lomachenko did some whole shit with the ducky. Like yeah, all no, this no. shit, he finally gets one of the biggest fights of the year. He gets a title, get a big fight opportunity, and he wants to fucking chill out. Like, no, fuck out of here. That's ducking. That's some bullshit. You think you're going to get knocked out? You acting scary, nigga. Fuck that shit. So, and, and then, um, you, you know, like, you got Shakur Stevenson right there with Tank. Like, yo, y'all niggas ain't got nothing officially lined up. Make the fight. But now... It, I'm hearing look like Shakur Stevenson signed with Match Room for a one fight deal, right? Which is, which is trash because Joe Cordina got brutalized in an upset. He, he he's part he's he, he's the victim of one of the biggest upsets this year so far. And in his last fight, you know, against the guy that quote unquote robbed Ray Ford, the Vasquez, you could say he lost that fight, the the Monaco Match Room fight. The, oh, the one yeah, before yeah. that, the one before that fight, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah the one yeah. before that fight, yeah. With Vasquez, yeah. Venezuela versus damn Cordina, man. Rayo would beat the shit out of Cordina. That's that's still a bad fight. Like Cordina, is just a bad fight for anybody right now. Yeah, like, I, Cordina, I know it adds fuel to especially Pat. if they're at one thirty five or one forty. I know it adds fuel to, to Pat's one forty. Um, you know, the PBC WBA one forty bullshit. It's true, but it does make Tank. You know, Ariel did have a. You know, semi impressive performance, won 140 belt. Um, so tank obviously he got two him. Colbert wins and then now the Pitbull win. Like, damn, what, yeah, what else know. he need to do? So, tank obviously, you know, going three division champ most likely, but you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying a is not a live dog in this. You know, tank would be the overwhelming favorite, but it's a better fight overall because, <laughs> in terms of you know, a is more, I mean, you could say El Rayo is definitely more dangerous than Cordina, right? I mean. Yeah, because, yeah, because he uh, just more everything, more better, more dangerous, more everything. Yeah, and shouts out to his trainers. You know, ever since he went to Robert Garcia, he's looked like he's improved. And Robert Garcia might win trainer of the year this year, win or lose. If the fight does happen November second or whatever, 
you know, Robert Garcia is going to finally get his uh, career in here. You know, I mean, he's had a great year. Yeah, it, it's just like I just want these guys to fight the right competition in their divisions. Cordina should not be dragged up from one third. Although I know that you know, I know it's you know, he said he's going to move up. But you should not be. You get brutalized. You should not be moved up into a title shot. This is it's the same nonsense with, of course, with the whole thing with Spence and Fedor. Spence should be getting a title shot, and he got brutally knocked out. So it's just like this. This is the type of shit, like you know, that should that shouldn't be. And like I said, in Shakur, like I said, Shakur already had to deal with the Frank Martin. At least with Frank Martin, the Frank Martin, uh, uh, you know, Frank Martin when he beat um, Artem, like it, it, although it was a close fight, you know, he, it was like okay, you know, this separation or whatever. But there's no excuse for Shakur to fight Cordina like at all. Like Cordina needs a a serious rebuild. <laughs> Right now, like you know, and they are saying you know Zapata will be in February, maybe on a match from Golden Boy Five on Five or something. You know, a Zapata versus Shakur because you know I guess Zapata has a kid, so he's that should. Weird. Oh, Zapata, yeah, but it's, it, it, truthfully, like I said, it's just like Zapata. I mean, I get it. I mean, you see it if he has a kid or whatever, but it's just like you know, this is an opportunity. Like they need to make the fights happen when they need to happen because Shakur can't be just taking some old bullshit. You know, just like that because Cordina punches is a lighter puncher than him. So that's part of the reason why. And style wise, it's not gonna make a good fight to watch. Like, you know, I mean Yeah, they're gonna like so Corey Sivis and, and let's say trying to make this another showcase fight for him to get a knockout. And he might very well knock dude out. It just, you know, you're knocking out a smaller guy that we didn't think could beat you anyway. Right. And if he doesn't knock Cordina out, it's just it's gonna get, it's gonna get more, then you know it's gonna get worse. Yeah, like, it's even worse. Get, yeah. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. And of course, like I said, the rails, it's like, I'm just tired of, you know, a 140 champion for WWE that they're dragging up someone from a lower division. Like, it's like three champions in a row. Three, it's like, they got to stop that bullshit. You know, like, they got to fight somebody at their, and that, that's actually putting in the work in their actual division. I mean, it, you know, again, that does make. Well, Tank fought at 140 before. So it, it, it does make Tank legit, good. you know, because will he be Barrios, who's a welterweight champion right now at WBC? It does make Tank a, a true 140, you know, three a, a true three division champ. So, but the problem know. was when Tank got that GameStop belt, Josh Taylor was still there. Josh Taylor was the number one guy, and he didn't bother to even go after him. That's the thing. It's like you gotta do that. You gotta have to. Josh Taylor had his own shit going. On. You know how it goes, man. You gotta go but after Pat, Josh Taylor. But Pat, but Pat, you know, I'm not saying you're being obtuse, but you know what it is. You know, you know what the vibe is. You know, he low key is. It's like, come on, bro. and it doesn't mean I have to like it. And I and I see the pattern. Yeah. I keep calling it out. If I keep calling it out, I told you I don't like shit like that. I feel it. I mean, I feel it. Yeah, no, I, I'm hard line. Like I don't like seeing that shit. <laughs> you know, I don't like. You gotta stop dragging. You, you gotta stop dragging motherfuckers up that don't need to be dragged up. Or anything like that, and this, this goes for both Shakur and you know Shakur and or Tank go, going up and just jumping around. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna pick up a one forty buck, you better stay there and defend that shit. Instead of you know, it's just like yeah, we just want big fights, bro. We just want good fights. Look, I, I don't care. He can jump around as long as they're good names. Jump around, but you know, <clears throat> if you're not gonna fight good names, it just look like you're avoiding niggas. So now. Nah. You know, Rayo's quality and Rayo earned the fight, so I ain't got no problem with it. But yeah. I'd rather see Tank and Shakur just because, you know, off in the eye, I think that's the worst looking fight. It's better for the sport if we got that fight next, but Easy. you know how the sport mm -hmm. does it. Yeah, because, you know, because right now, I already had, that's already, it's already, it's already approaching that type of, uh, Type of like buzz that you get from Spence and Crawford in terms of people are really picking sides and shit like that. Yeah, the yeah. marination there yeah. ain't gonna, you know. I mean, again, Shakur is not really the most quote unquote exciting fighter. We get it how skilled he is, but you know. nah, Tank Shakur could always happen, you know, if these guys stay undefeated. Like, mm -hmm. it next year is probably a bigger fight, but um, it's one of those fights where. I think it can happen anytime, but it needs to happen between now and next year. Right. You know, so I, I can't say it's over marinating or anything because the names really just started aligning this year. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, because yeah, Shakur, you, know, you, don't want, you don't want Shakur to start outgrowing his division, out division again, and then 
You know, he he goes up to fucking welterweight or some shit like that. You know, I mean, I, I, if Tank does knock Shakur out, I know they're gonna use the drain excuse, even though Tank's been at one thirty five longer. But I already know what the vibe is, but you know, I want to see the fight. Um, I want to see it. Uh, the tank, the the Shakur situation is, you know, he signed a quote unquote one one fight deal with Eddie. Um, you know, again, I think this is pay the fights next if he gets past Cordina, but it's like. I don't know, man. It's boxing for That's you. That's February, bro. February seems so long from now. <laughs> it do. Like, like, I, I, like, like, you know what it is? Like, I, you know, to be honest, like, if you look at action and the type of fights, you, you, when you, when I, when, when I, when y'all get to see the bars of boxing video, and y'all see the highlights of the boxing fights that happened this year, it's not really bad. It just we don't have the name. The big names aren't giving us the good, exciting fights. That's right. that's the only real difference. Because there's been some fades this year, but just they haven't been attached to the elites and superstars and the top right. threes and shit. And that's what's kind of missing from this year. Like uh, a few of them get getting down, but not enough where. It's elevating the whole sport, right? Yeah, I mean one one. I mean one day we will have. We'll, 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 it seems like it's always, it's always one year we have a whole bunch of them, and then next year it's just it's the B levels. I mean it was the same last year too with the B levels. I'm sure. Of it. So yeah, yeah, and that's happening too much, man. Like mm-hmm. niggas is B level because they're B level. Like A level mm-hmm. need to show niggas we're A level because we give you A level performances. A level, A level excitement. The problem is the A level fights from last year were all one sided as fuck. So that's <laughs> yeah. They tried, but like this year, niggas need to get it together. Yeah, yeah they they do, and it's just like it, it, first thing, first thing they need to get made first. That's the one thing they need. To yeah, do. yeah, that gotta happen because everybody look like they trying to plan for next year, and it's like I just like how. It got to a point in 2022 where niggas were just like, well, shit, next year. It really. Mm-hmm. And then now we're in 2024 and they just feel like niggas is like, uh, next year. Like, like, what is it about the fucking even years that niggas don't want to make big fights in? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the odd year, a motherfucker uh, make a good fight. Niggas be making fights in the odd years. Yeah. <laughs> If you look at it, 2019, like 2020 is about the only year I can remember where niggas is really starting to make big fights and then just the world ended type shit. Yeah, I mean, 2013 was a was a monster year too, you know. So it's like, yeah, and that was a, that was an odd year. It's so, just yeah. the odd years, bro. The, the mm-hmm. even years don't be hitting like that. Like you, like they, they'll hit, they'll hit a little bit, but not not overall like them odd years hit. Yeah, even 2017, 20, the first half of 2017 had wars before it cooled off. It was just yeah. like, yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just funny how that he came and it was like, I think what you had, you had the Wilder Fury, you had Canelo Golovkin, but I'm trying to think what else stood out 2018. Like, the fucking odd, them, the even years, man. Yeah, it's just the, the odd numbers, it's just like, yeah. That's when niggas decide. Okay, yeah, we about to go to war. So twenty twenty five, shit, you know, it, it will just, it will, it will, you know, we'll have a whole shitload of five year candidates, man. Yeah, and funny so I don't, I don't want to go on no, on no twenty nineteen rant, but you know, you, you kind of see the proof is in the damn pudding. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's like, wasn't Ro- Roman um, uh, what, what's that? Uh, Joe Haney. Yep, that was twenty nineteen too, yeah, right? Yeah. Too. Sure, that was a that was a co-main too. I think like uh, who's the is it Chocolatito and um, let's see who who's that undercard? Uh, they were a co-main to somebody. I think it was the Chocolatito. It was a co-main to somebody. But God damn it, that fight was good. Shit, mm. fight of the that was the fight of the year candidate in a year full of fight of the year candidates. Like, like if that fight happened this year, that's a fight of the year. That'd be number one. Oh yeah, no, yes, yeah. so it was yeah, it was the coming the Sora Rungusai and Estrada. Yeah, that's what I remember. I was like, I knew. This. Yeah, yeah, that was a good fucking. Damn, the zone fell off. What the fuck? 
And what happened to Lee Wood? <laughs> if what? No, tw- yeah, twenty nineteen. The, the zone yeah. only had a rollout, really. They didn't really have nothing to sustain, nigga. No, no, twenty nineteen. The zone, like if you, it's a, for twenty nineteen. If you, nah, we was like, eating good in the with the zone in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty. Like, yeah, like they had no, like half of the fight of the year list was the from rollout, the zone the alone. Rollout. Like the best fight of the year was from the zone of twenty nineteen. Like they they had. Like, yeah, like, several fight of the year from so, like the, they 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 had uh, um the in the way there um Golovkin Dervianchenko yep Pro uh, Ramirez yeah the uh, uh Rom uh Roman uh Pro Grade Taylor like, Pro Grade like, nigga that's like like we just named like what five or six <laughs> yeah yeah they had, like, they that's had, ridiculous yeah yeah PBC yeah. gave you fucking um. Uh, what the fuck they give us? Uh, Spence, yeah, Peter, uh, Peterson, Porter, yeah. Peterson yeah. Lippinets, uh, her J Rock. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. The zone also gave us Ruiz Joshua. Yeah, and also, uh, oh, and yeah. Pursun Taylor, man. Yeah, Taylor Pursun, yeah. Yo, 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 the zone literally had 10 fights in a year, bro. You can, you can literally make a case for uh, like maybe eight. Eight fight of the years came from the zone in 2019. Yeah, yeah. The zone, the zone was, and that was after you know they were just kind of getting their foot in for 2018. And afterwards, they just hit, they hit that, they hit that for running in 2019. The pandemic. Yeah, them, them niggas had like a cannabis in the 98 year. No, DMX, one of them niggas years back then. They where they were just killing everything. We were like, oh shit, when the yeah, album the, dropped. It. The the pandemic affected them more than any of the others because. The zone because the zone had like between Golden Boy and Matchroom, they actually had like cards lined up. Like I was ready to go to some of them. All like, that motion and they couldn't give Andre the big fight. Yeah, no, that, that's probably one of the few things that they did they did wrong. <laughs> yeah, like god damn, how y'all the fucking um they, they just wow, just but yeah, n- enough of that, man. Um but 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 yeah, just boxing need to do better, like the whole face of boxing, I'm done with that. It's it's back to the damn uh, the fight for boxing. Like it's no more like the fight of boxing is the faces of boxing fighting each other. Facts. So we not focusing on the damn faces face of boxing. We the fight of boxing and, and right now the fights for boxing, none of them seem like they're on the horizon at all. No, like I mean, like some, like some are made, but they're not. I mean, even like, I no, mean, no, no, literally, no. Look, look, I'm talking about the transcendent super fights that everyone. I'm oh, yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, there are not. Is Canelo? It looked like we'll never get that. Um, yeah, no, you know, there, there are none, bro. Like there are none that, that are. It's not on the horizon. Yeah. I don't. We're not getting Shakur Stevenson and Tank right now. Yeah. That that's another fight I mean, for the, the only one is better beef than Bavall. That's the only one. The only one, but it, let's just be honest. It's not one of those. And I wish they look in any other era, that fight would be promoted like a mainstream big fight. I'm sorry for this era because that is a big mainstream fight. And it's a significant, it's a crazy fight. It's a legacy to find a fight but it won't get promoted and treated as such. So it's hard for me to put it on the same level as a Canelo Benavidez, even though it's every bit the goodest fight, better fight. They just better fight than Tank Shakur Stevenson, but Tank Shakur Stevenson is a bigger fight for boxing. You get what I'm saying? Right. But better be Baval is right there. But for some reason, the light heavyweight, they don't promote that shit. Like, Like, it just... God damn, like, um, the, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna just say, because and, and I'll be always, like, uh, interacting with Android, shout out to Android, I know he was in the chat earlier, but, uh, uh we always be just talking about, like, certain things, it's like, the, the certain fights are coming, and it just, there's no buzz, like, better be Baval, it's like, eight weeks away, and there's, like, no, no little bubble, no little buzzing for it, um, uh, the undisputed game, um, the first boxing game in like 10, 12 years coming out 
or 14, whatever the fuck. It's just a, a long fucking time. Right. <laughs> There's no buzz for that. Like, so it's like a lot of shit just kind of looking like it kind of just like die like boxing like somebody needs to step up and make some noise in boxing right now it's like kind of quiet mm-hmm. so that that's what i kind of want to see right now like i'm good not to see no i don't need no more Devin haney ryan garcia discourse i don't need no more of that yeah facts that, 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 that. that ran his course like a motherfucker please don't bring them two back up like <laughs> like y'all chill on that but I need a little more. Like, I need something. Like, I, I feel like we're all just gathered around waiting for something to happen. And it's not happened yet, but we're just still waiting. That's how boxing feels. Um, mm-hmm. But fuck it, Ring ain't gonna make that happen. We always gonna be coming out with content and, and shit. We got new fire shit this week. So if there's a void in boxing, Ring ain't gonna do the best to you know fill that void i mean we did that shit in, we did we did we, we did that shit in 2020 shit you know we'll, we'll always get we'll always keep doing that yeah there's, there's always something that there's always something that we can give y'all trust <laughs> pause, yeah, so you know, pause too after that's sure. really yeah, that's all it is really like not everybody can do that because they so dependent on the sport and they lack the creativity but right but not not us oh, i'm seeing let me see some of anthony's uh, messages i either have jason winning this fight by TKO in the eleventh round or eight going the distance and Jared and Jerry winning the fight. I guess I can see that. Do you guys think the nickname that Eric Morales had in his career fit him? It was either the terrible Yeah, the El Terrible. Fuck yeah. Like Eric Morales his his name his nickname was badass. El Terrible? Yeah, it was El like, Terrible. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, like the fuck. He wasn't named no better, better boxing nickname, like I don't think he was ever named the Tasmanian Devil. He was always. Yeah, I don't know the fuck blade. you got that from, but uh, El, El Terrible was the shit. I don't know. You, you get a couple, you get some whole bunch of nicknames out there. Like he wasn't. Yeah. He was saying not known as Superman and shit. Like I don't know where you get all the shit from. Like, yeah, bro. Like where you at? You you still feeling them that that, that Dominican vacation, bro? Like, <laughs> like you still feeling the after effects? But yeah, um. You gotta remember that uh that one KO he had where he knocked the dude out and then he walked right over him type shit. Mm-hmm. Like that's a terrible thing to do that only a El Terrible would do. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> bars. Oh, Valus Wenyan versus Cole. Oh yeah, yeah, we answered that. At one thirty five pounds, these two fights I really want to see to pay the versus mother right mother tire. Yeah, he's more tire. Yeah, I know who you talking about. I just I've been fucking up name. Or Andy Cruz versus Valens, like bro. I would love to see that fight, but no, Andy Cruz though needs more. I, mean, I would love to see it, but I don't think Cruz ready. Like yeah, they wouldn't make yeah, it. Yeah, Cruz, yeah, Cruz needs a little bit more seasoning, but that that yeah, Cruz that would get his shit rocked in that fucking fight. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Pat, don't be no manager. This nigga talking about yeah, yeah, but see that like. Like if he like if a nigga made an offer, he would really be going. He'd go to the gym, be in the locker room, like. Hey yo, so I would really love to see this fight, and it's like, what you mean? Who, who, who's this, coach? I mean, who's this, Pat? Yeah, Rayo <laughs> Venezuela. Like, wait, what? You would love to? You think I'm ready for this? I mean, I don't know, but I love to see it. Like, what the nigga? You on him? You got my career in your hands, bro. Like, <laughs> nah, like you wildin' talk about y'all niggas wildin'. You and Anthony would get y'all niggas would get people careers done. But yeah, I mean, we ain't got really much to say. We could we could wrap this up. But y'all, yo, make sure y'all fucking follow us on every fucking platform: TikTok, YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Facebook, IG, all that shit. Be dropping the damn bars and boxing uh, pretty soon. Hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. But yeah, definitely got the full video and go have the band camp link for the song and go have all that up and eventually get the song on streaming so we we bringing it back the, yeah, don't, you know, don't give the nigga all the sauce niggas we got some shit coming nigga that's it yeah yeah like like you said we got some shit coming fuck that but yeah like, this stay nigga tuned like, nigga this nigga's like yes it's uploading it's a it's at about 67 percent we got 
a third of the way to go. This shit's so no, no, hey, I, I can't do my right now. <laughs> you guys are having it by four thirty this morning. Like nigga, <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> my my bad, but I, I I get into promoter mode because you know we we sit here and be talking about how these promoters and boxers don't be promoting. So I'll be making sure to to do my promoting at the end, but. But yeah, man, we, we all good, man. A great, great all episode. All they focus Glad on y'all fucking the fight. Huh? All they both focus on is booking them names, nigga. They, they, fuck, they think the, everybody think that they can sell themselves, even though every everybody got to be marketed. But yeah, they just think their name is as big as it is, as it gets, and it's like, nigga, I'm fighting, so buy it, nigga. <laughs> and it's like, but nigga, you ain't fighting who I want to see you in fight. So why the fuck am I buying? Yo, and is it, me, is it just me or there hasn't been no? Oh yeah, Showtime done, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it hasn't been the all access shit. I've missed that shit, yo. Low key, it makes. Well, I mean, they have it on Prime, but you know, it's not. It's, it's not, not the it. same. It's not the same. It's not the same, and they release it too close to the fucking fight, where it's kind of like, look, look, bro. Y'all can't look. This this is one before we end this fucking. Y'all gotta stop trying to bombard all the promotion on the fight week. Gradually do that shit within the the, the final four weeks of the fight. Mm. Or or two or the last two weeks you can try to bombard it. But fight week, there's too many like activities, too much shit going on. For us to be damn taking time out to watch 20 minute damn documentary videos and face off and this and that. Cause remember, y'all got the way in, y'all got post fight conference, and all that shit. Like, bro, like yo, y'all gotta y'all gotta space this shit out. Facts. <laughs> like, so that that's my whole fucking rant for that. Like, yeah, yeah, y'all like don't fucking right. try to give us everything the last fucking week, bro. Yeah, let us do the weekly promotion, nigga. Y'all <laughs> niggas do that other shit. Yeah, th- thank you. Shit, like we'll, we'll preview the fight, nigga. You know, y'all don't gotta do that. We'll preview it. Y'all just post y'all fucking promotions, nigga. Put yeah, put y'all shit out. Like you know, don't sit on the fucking all access for three months and then the week of the fight you put it out. Like mm-hmm. nigga, like <laughs> we on some other shit. We up here trying to make plans. Like, alright, what we trying to eat? All right, where we gonna see the fight at? This, this, that. We not trying to. You know what I mean? We can't go back in time and just. We can't freeze time to watch your, your fucking documentary and try to watch your promo shit. Yeah, they fucked up. They shouldn't have pulled Showtime without having a, a legitimate replacement, nigga. Well, I mean, is that? I mean, it's, that's PBC's doing. Everyone, everyone else was kept their platforms. You know, that was just you know, PBC just unfortunately went to Prime because you know it's a streaming era. So you got they got they, they had to get in where they fit in. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> the game. Not fitting in too well. Pause. <laughs> now with that goddamn little <laughs> card coming up. <laughs> I still can't pronounce that name, those names. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. My, my bad. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that's a horrible card. I don't know why the why the fuck Amazon even doing that. Ugh. Yeah, I, don't, I mean I mean obviously uh, I mean I already know I'm not paying for it, you know, so it's gonna be definitely on some stream shit or whatever. No one's gonna make me pay for that fight, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Niggas gonna like break down the door and put a gun to your head, like nigga, you pay this, you pay for this shit now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck it. You gotta just kill me, nigga. Fuck that. <laughs> I ain't scrambling for my wallet, nigga, or the cell phone, or none of that shit. Fuck that yeah. fight. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, fuck that. We gotta stop mentioning them niggas. Fuck them niggas. Word, Bullshit word. ass duckers, nigga. But yeah, yo, but yeah, the thing we can kind of wrap up and try to get up out yeah, of here. Yeah. Thing. Cause for things to us, we can keep it under two hours, but now it's at two hours and two. But it, I guess that's how it happens sometimes, yo. Yeah. But yeah, let me just get, get so yeah, let me. Just it was a good call, good good episode. Though. It was, you know, like I said, I enjoyed it and everything like that. I think everyone else did too, you know, by the engagement that we got, you know, what I'm saying. But yeah, you know, well, so for myself, you know, Pat Scorpion doing the representer for LB Shore the God the Goat Artist Bars of Boxing for King People Dega B for Conscious Planet for Rome Top Five. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. Chicago Bears 3 and 0, nigga. <laughs> <laughs>